Most of this is for you. You can toss it. Some of these are bills, man. Or pay my bills, whatever. It's all meaningless bullshit anyway. Just put your little slabs of carbon wherever you want on the larger slab of carbon. Hey, hey come here, man. No, come here, no, buddy. no, get your carbon off of me. Oh, so what's up, dude, huh? You've been playing this game for like two weeks. You still haven't beaten it? It's No Man's Sky, you don't beat it. You just keep playing it, endlessly journeying from place to place. Then what's the point? There is no point. That's the point. It's like an extended absurdist metaphor for the human experience. And now you're lasering some space rocks. It's gold. Oh, okay. So this is like the futility of riches level. No, it's not. Okay. I didn't mean every aspect is some artsy fartsy metaphor. You just said that I am collecting resources to upgrade my ship. If I don't upgrade my ship, then I can't keep wandering the galaxy. Basically, I have to work to maintain all my stuff because it constantly wears out or breaks down, like in real life. And why don't you buy a better ship with your space gold? I wish. Better ships cost millions of units. Space dollars. And, at most, I'll get like 50 grand out of this. Now, if it was aluminum, I'd get double that. Good luck finding aluminum. Aluminum is more expensive than gold and harder to find? What, they don't have smelting in this universe with space travel? It's unclear. Some things are unclear, but look, even if I bought a better ship, that one will just break down too. Everything does. It's life, man. Although, a better ship would give me a couple more inventory spots and I could haul more shit around and visit more planets, which, you know, really makes you think. Why don't you just use your materials to build a storage warehouse or expand your space mansion on your home planet or whatever? They don't have that. Warehouses? Shelter of any kind. You can't settle down on a planet and call it home. You're always a visitor. Just like... Then what's that icon? It's a shelter over there? That's an alien settlement. So the aliens get to have houses, but you don't? Well, they're clearly more advanced. You mastered space travel. Putting a roof over your head is way in the rear of your mirror. You don't get it, man. This game is about the lonely journey of life, the wonder of discovery, and the pain of solitude. It's not... Sims in space. Oh, is there a Sims in space? Because I would play that. I would play that right now. I would shove you off that couch to play that right now. Look, the awesome thing about the game is its scope. The game designers created a universe with like a bajillion different procedurally generated planets. You know, it's massive. Almost every planet has unique plant and animal life and you can guarantee that you're the first person to ever be there and probably the only person who will ever go there. Except the aliens. They're AI. I'm talking about the people playing the game. Look, I'll show you. Ah, it's a different color. Yeah, right? You noticed. And, and there's lots of different planet colors. Also, sometimes fewer plants or more plants. Unique animal life. Look, look at this guy. Yeah, that doesn't make biological sense. Okay, yeah, I feel like that one doesn't really add up. But I saw one kind of like this a couple planets ago, but it had like stegosaurus-y plates. That was cool. So wait, the animals are just repeats with minor tweaks? Well, yeah, they're procedurally generated. The computer only has a few hundred different animal parts to randomly mash together. Do you ever see a creature you haven't seen before? No, not really. Although once in a while you do get a really crazy one. Look at this guy. What the fuck? Is this the planet of Dr. Moreau? <laughs> no, but that's a good name. I'm gonna call this planet and every other planet I discover that. Oh, you get to name the planets? Well, yeah, man, I discovered them. You mean after the aliens did? Yes, after the fucking aliens did. I am the first member of my species to see this planet, so I get to name it. And who sees the name? Nobody, probably. I mean, the chances of someone actually making it to my galaxy and stumbling across my planet are very remote due to the size of the game universe. Okay. So this game basically makes you fly from place to place, forces you to spend the bulk of your time collecting stuff to keep playing, and lets you name things that AI aliens have already discovered, but that no actual human will ever see or know. Basically. So the human experience you're having is Disappointment? Look, okay, maybe the game got overhyped a little, all right? So, you know, it's bound to be a little disappointing, but there is still something very cool and revolutionary about knowing that this is my unique experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, who cares if no one cares or sees it? It's, and you're here now, so this is like a unique 
Okay. Thing for us. It's okay. ours. Hey, okay. Okay. Hey, you want a little carbon, buddy? Maybe. A yeah. Little. Come here. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. By the way, your rent is like way overdue. Oh, this endless resource grinding. And again, these are mostly bills, so. Bills! Do you need help paying them, or? Hi guys, thanks for watching another escort mission. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I gotta say, personally, I'm not, I've already decided I'm not gonna have time for No Man's Sky, but I do wanna see your craziest monsters. So please link us in the comments to like, just the wackiest animals you've seen. Cause that's really all I care yeah, about. Yeah, or your, uh, like your favorite names for planets, right? Yeah, I don't even care about those.